A uh, article in the New York Times this week got a few of us talking. It's called Alone Again Naturally, and it's about how single women don't mind living alone while men seem to need to be in a relationship. Is that true? Here to debate this are relationship experts Cooper Lawrence, author of the new book, The Yoga Club, and sex therapist Dr. Ian Kerner. Hello. Good morning to both Good morning. of you. Good morning, guys. And you're going to answer this unequivocally, right? Yes, Like, absolutely. there is a true answer here. There is. What you is think it? so? Yeah, there, there's, the answer is women are much better at being alone than men are. They're much more social. They know how to find resources. They tend to have more friends. So men are the ones who don't make the plan. So if a guy is tends to be alone, he's going to keep being alone. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Women like to think that men can't be on their own. And when we're in a relationship, we're okay letting you think that. Like, oh, we don't know how to do the laundry, match our socks, we can't cook. The well, truth in fairness, is... we don't know how to do the laundry. <laughs> no. that, that is true. But... My wife is away right now. I'm home with my two boys. They're here in the green room. We're doing, the guys are doing just... And your just... mother is taking yeah. care of them. The guys are doing just <laughs> fine on their own. Isn't it nice to have an open green room yes. where you can see all the yeah. truths yep. come out? Uh, so your mom, yeah. there she yeah, is. Yeah, okay. I'd rather have my wife than my mom. But, uh... <laughs> I have to say, when I first moved to New York, I would go back yeah. home to my apartment. I moved out yeah. here um, separate from my, my fiancé, my now fiancé, and he was living in Chicago. We were doing long distance. Anyway, I would go home to my apartment, and I was so excited to come home to this place that I felt like I had built that. And I don't know if that's associated with this article or this study in any way, but it's a big deal. No, environment definitely plays plays a role. If you go to like a single guy's apartment, I mean, he loves it. It's his man cave, but a man tends to stay in his man cave more. And socially, they don't, they, they don't call up the neighbors and say, hey, come on over and have a drink or I'm having a party. Usually it's the women who make those plans. And when couples separate, especially older couples, you find that men tend to be less social. So age is a factor as well. well. You know, I don't know that. I know a lot of divorced men who are getting out there. Yeah, they come back to their man cave, but they're they're out there having a lot of fun. You know, I think the one thing that we shouldn't do with this study is glorify being alone. Because in the end, humans, like any other mammal, are social creatures. Yeah. Uh, study after study supports the idea that men and women do better when they're married. They live longer. They not, have no, someone to take married. care of no, them. Even, even cohabitating, a study came out this year, just this year, that said that just being in a relationship, and especially living with somebody, you're just as happy as if you're married. That said, everyone needs some alone time, right? Well, alone time and being lonely are two different things. Yes. So you do need more time alone, especially if you have a very busy career like yeah. Mr. Becca here. Um, but you know, most most women are usually okay with it because they know how to surround themselves in social environments and when things go wrong they know how to find the resources to help them feel better. Women have relationships face to face so we're, we practice being emotional with each other. Men have relationships side by side. We, we definitely don't practice. Yeah, we're, we're not I, I don't, we don't practice that, do we Rebecca? <laughs> oh no, never, never. No. But, but we're happy to have another guy come over and sit with us on the couch and you know watch the game and uh, have yeah. a hamburger. But and who's know, making those plans? <laughs> Are you calling a friend? Is he yeah, calling you? Uh, okay. We're shooting an email and, and getting together. <laughs> you coming? Other, I'm I, coming. I think the <laughs> Is that, that, that and then, men... no, but then when they're there, what do they say to each other? They talk about the game. They don't usually talk about their emotions. They don't connect well, the same way women do. We're emotionally, we're fine. We, we, we like to talk about the game. I mean, this is... I'm just fine with my emotions. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, statistically, also, men have a, have a have a higher chance of remarrying. I mean, for all our talk of cougars and and younger women, uh, older women hooking up with younger men, the truth is that's the exception, not the rule. And there's it's a much larger dating. It's because it's because they like being in a pair. So they're willing to accept somebody into their life that maybe We're isn't the best for them. Just and a women much are pool more of likely women to go on like a journey, like eat, pray, love, and go discover themselves. I feel like we're being bashed all morning. <laughs> you know, yeah. you I'm, do? I'm feeling vulnerable. I don't like that. We're going to yeah. have to change that in the next segment, guys. We're going to have to settle it there. Okay. Ian Kerner and Cooper Lawrence, thanks, thanks so much thanks to both so. of you. Thank you.